up guys so welcome back this is your boy again Adam Slink. how are you guys doing uh welcome back to another video good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from and uh this is shocking news guys a south african very well known politician said his name is julius malema he said the queen is a thief and africans shouldn't be money a thief well those words are not mine like i've said a South African well-known politician, Julius Malema. In fact, here is his biography online. Julius Silo Malema is a South African politician and activist who is a member of the parliament and the leader of the Economy Freedom Fighters, a left-wing party which he founded in 2013. He previously served as president of the African National Congress Youth League from 2008 to 2012. He is 41 years old and is very, very much outspoken. I'm going to play you a video while he was seriously making serious speeches very very serious one guys and he said africans shouldn't be money a thief that the queen is a thief well those are not my words guys those are not my words but firstly let's come over to ninja we saw one of our Igbo brother crying crying uncontrollably because he heard about the news of the queen passing <laughs> don't worry. What is Eliza? Eliza. I want to. My name is Eliza. Eliza. This man is seriously crying over Queen Elizabeth Bassett. Of course, we have seen mourners all over the world. In fact, Nigeria will be specially honoring the Queen by flying their flag. Specially. And every other Nigeria, uh, African nation countries that uh, the British have colonized will definitely honor the Queen. I'm very much, yeah, yeah, I think so. They will definitely honor the Queen. But there are grievances, guys. There are grievances. And whenever people talk, they will try as much as possible to shut them down. They are grievances. Grievances, they are our mind. Grievances, they are our mind. Like, we need an apology. We need them to come tell us, say, sorry for what we do you now. You now not deserve them. Well, let's come over to Julius Malema uh, case. Well, like I said before, he said, Africans should be money a thief. I'm very, very much outspoken. No? He's not afraid of anything. He said his mind. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I don't know if I should be afraid for him on his behalf because people who can easily say their mind like that, of course, you know, some uh, things might happen to them in the future. You know, we have seen people who have been extremely outspoken about the way they feel about uh, what they have seen but at the end of the day you'll find out that one thing one thing may lead to another and you won't be hearing from them anymore so i think this man need, need to be safeguarded at all cost well listening to julius malema it will be wrong of me to leave this mic without saying to britain and everybody else who can we do not mourn the death of a colonizer and a murderer who came and killed our people and she's wearing proudly a stolen coat on her head. We have nothing to do with the queen. 
ba utswa di minerale tsa mo Africa ba utswa di minerale tsa all over Africa today people tweet hey we mourn hey we mourn the queen but when Helen Zile tweeted and said that not everything is bad about colonialism you all said Helen Zile is a racist how can she praise colonialism by mourning and praising the queen you are celebrating colonialism. You are not different from Helen Zille. We were not colonized by the land called Britain. We were colonized by the leadership of Britain that killed our people. So we must not be asked to do wrong things here. We are very clear. The queen does not represent anything good. Britain has got a lot of gold, yet they don't have a single mine of gold. Those are stolen goods. We must talk about reparation. We must talk about the return of the gold. We must talk about the return of the stolen diamond and not these other side issues which are not important to us. How can you be oppressed for so many years? After liberation, you've got nothing to show that we have been liberated. You have no land, you have got no bank, you have got no mine. The only thing you have is a hatred of other Africans. It was this queen who gave us surnames, by the way. This Britain, we did not have surnames. We were calling each other, We the surnames and the addresses, we did not have an address because they remove up from year to year according to the season. So today, we are given address, we are given borders, we are given surnames because we must be controlled by a certain nation which we must celebrate. We, as black people, everywhere else we are, we are one thing. Guys, uh... I do not know if that was a beautiful speech for you. I don't know if he's speaking your mind. But in deep down in your heart, you should know if Julius Lamela is speaking your mind. You should know. Nowadays, people are not allowed to express themselves anymore. If you express yourself any anyhow you want it, even without even insulting, if you express yourself, and the next person who is giving you food to eat is saying that the way you are expressing yourself is not the way he or she likes it, it will remove food from your mouth. People cannot express themselves anymore. Constructively, someone can express himself, but another person might not like it. And he said something. He said, instead of you, instead of South Africans, to look at the dying issue, the real issue, they are turning themselves away from the real issue and having a threat to other Africans. Don't forget eh, Julius Lamela. During those times that we are with this xenophobia, uh, something was happening in South Africa, Julius Lamela was one of all those politicians that stood strongly against it. Strongly against it. He doesn't understand why Africans will be hating other Africans. Well, that is you no know, their grievances with a uh, lot of people coming out saying whatever they want to say. You know, easy. You understand? Africa was supposed to be one big nation. You know, we lost order and uh, people coming in. They shared our borders. Name this one Nigeria. Name this one Ghana. Name this one South Sudan. Name this one this. Name this one South Africa. Name this one Ethiopia. Uh, Ethiopia wasn't even governed. Like, I think so one of the few countries in Africa that never allowed them to come in. Uh, name this one uh, Kenya, Tanzania, and so on, guys. Border. Border. Well, uh, it's crazy. I don't know how many people... You know about this, our sister, Anu. Anu has been there greatly uh, speaking out, but 
she is not crying out that she is at the verge of losing her friends because she didn't sympathize with the queen. I'm going to read what she wrote recently. According to her, she said, He said, I am very happy over the awareness I've created 48 hours ago. The likes of Jeff Bezos and many others have reacted. Questions have, are now being asked about the Queen. Factually, Ujuku and Gowon had a meeting in Ghana to advert this sad history. But because the, Bri the British Empire, which is now under the leadership of King Charles, we are paranoid. They influence Gawan to go ahead simply because they don't want another Japan in Africa. The history book are there. There was a country by Chinua Abichi in there for fat. The Biafra story. Let me also state it once again that my family was a victim. There is no family in Igbo land who did not have a share of this sad history. This to, to this day, there is no apology. Again, I only drop a tweet. The Irish people celebrated it with fireworks. You can check Irish Twitter hashtag on Twitter for emphasis. We must speak up. The Igbo people need justice. Africa needs justice. The 46 Commonwealth country needs justice. According to Julius Lambella, they have a lot of gold and yet not a single gold mine in their country. How did this gold come about? There are a lot of questions, so a lot of questions. So uh, that's just it guys. Uh, kind of let me know exactly how you feel about that. And uh, we're also going to talk about one celebrity, Big Brother Niger Thatcher, who was recently in the middle of uh, having an entrances with a white person. She said, some of these white people must really think they are special. Hello, I don't give a an F about your color. Your effing blood is red like mine. In no fit work for me now. Nah, you can't intimidate me. Not this life, not in the next life. Africa, we need to fix up, fix up and fix up fast well we are out there beating ourselves we're talking about politics you know this one will win this one will go win this one will win <laughs> man we are fighting ourselves here over over Ibo, Aosa, yoruba and other ethnic group we are fighting ourselves over who will take this post who will take this post this one that my person we are fighting we are fighting will it ever stop i do not know <laughs> i don't think it's ever gonna stop but we are fighting. We are just fighting. Blind search. Blind search, guys. We are just blind searching, looking here and here. Looking like, come on. Well, guys, so that's all. Thank you very much for watching the boy again. I'm Sling. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time. Peace.